Hey guys, we're going to be looking at um, definite integrals in this session here. It is going to be a long session, so bear with me. Now you might have done this last year. Um, just a bit of a recap. If we have f, well then we can write f dash, this is the capital F I'm looking at, as f of x. So in other words, if we want to find integral of f of x dx between b and a, we know that this is equal to almost we can say capital F of B minus capital F of A. Might not make sense to you at this point, but um, might do just a basic example, and I think things will start coming back to you. So here's an example, basic integration of the power. And the question is, evaluate 2x plus 1, integral of that between 3 and 2. So what we're going to do first is we're going to integrate 2x plus 1. So we're going to get 2x squared divided by 2 plus x. And of course, we write 3 and 2 next to the square brackets, but on the right top corner, we write the biggest number, and at the bottom right corner, we write the smallest number. Now what this basically means, we've got to do f of 3 minus f of 2. So that doesn't make sense. Check this out. So we've got to have, I'm just going to simplify it first, sorry, to x squared plus x. That's between 3 and 2. Now, we've got to figure out what f of 3 is. So that's 3 squared plus 3. And we subtract 2 squared plus 2. Simplifying this, we should get 12 minus 6. Which means the answer for this question is 6. So hopefully this rings a few bells. But if not, just got to practice a few more questions, guys. All right, I've got another three more different types of um, um, examples to look at, and I'll go through them. The next type of integral I'm going to look at is the trig, the trig integral. All right, and an example where we want to evaluate an integral of sine x between 0 and pi. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to integrate sine x. So if we integrate sine x, we know that's negative cos x. And, of course, we're going to write the square brackets. And in the top corner, we're going to write pi. And at the bottom right corner, we're going to write 0. So now we need to find f of pi, and we're going to take away from f of 0. So in other words, we have negative cos pi take away negative cos 0. Okay, calculating these values, we're going to have negative negative 1, minus negative 1 itself. So simplifying this, our answer is 2. That's basically it, guys. Okay, moving on from trig integral, just going to show you the another two more types of integrals, and then we're going to stop. The next type of examples we're going to look at is use of logs. And here we want to evaluate integral of 2x divided by 1 plus x squared between 1 and 3. Now looking at this problem, we should straight away see that um, 2x is actually different. Uh, when you differentiate x squared, you actually get 2x. So we can kind of remind ourselves of something that we learned before, where if we have integral of f dash of x divided by f of x dx, we know that this was ln of f of x. So with that in mind, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if f of x is equal to 1 plus x squared, then f dash of x is equal to 2x. So you can kind of see that 1 plus x squared is in the denominator here, which is f of x. And then 2x, which, in the, which is the numerator, which is also f dash of x. So in other words, integrating this, so integrating this, I would get ln of 1 plus x squared, and that's between 3 and 1. Okay, now it's just a matter of substituting things in there. So I've got ln of 1 plus 3 squared minus ln of 1 plus 1 squared. Okay, so from that, we would have ln of 10 minus ln of 2. And this is simplified as ln of 5. 
for some reason, if you've forgotten how this works, remember that ln of 10 minus 2 could be written as ln of 10 divided by 2. So your final answer would be ln of 5 for this. All right, guys, looking at one more example, and that's the last one. And the last example is looking at integration by substitution. Now I want to figure out, evaluate um, integral of x multiplied by x minus 1 cubed between negative 2 and 3. Now there is some tricks to the, uh, doing this in a much faster way. I'm going to kind of show you guys how to do this. So first off, I'm going to put u as x minus 1, which means du dx is equal to 1, or in other words, du equals dx. Now, I also know that u is equal to x minus 1, which means x is equal to u plus 1. So I believe now I have everything that I can um, for substitution in terms of getting rid of all the x's and replacing it with u. So what I'm going to do is I've got between 3 and negative 2, um, x is u plus 1, x minus 1 is u, so it'll be u cubed, and dx is equal to du. The problem is this, these two things right here. These are actually values of x. And so what I could do is I could actually change it to u's. Um, if you guys could have a look here on the left-hand side. So I can say that 3, you guys, we've got 3 and negative 2. Now we know that u equals x minus 1, which means, write that as well which means if we put x as 3, so if we put x as 3, we get the value of u as 2. And the, likewise, if you put x is equal to negative 2, we get the value of u as negative 3. So now what I could do is, instead of writing it between negative 2 and positive 3, I can write it between positive 2 at the top there, and at the bottom part, I could write it as negative 3. Because, because when I'm working with u's, I need to change everything. So even I need to change the two numbers on the integral sign itself. So expanding this, I'm going to get u to the power of 4 plus u cubed du. And from this point onwards, it's straightforward. Integrating this, sorry, I forgot the equal sign. Integrating this, I get u to the power of 5 divided by 5 plus u to the power of 4 divided by 4. And that's between 2 and negative 3. Now, the reason I changed u is because now I don't actually need to substitute u as x minus 1 and do that whole thing again. Instead, I could straight away jump into this part right now and just say I can figure out what f of 2 is and f of negative 3 is, and it'll work out. So I've got 2 to the power of 5 divided by 5 plus 2 to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus negative 3 to the power of 5 divided by 5 plus negative 3 to the power of 4 divided by 4. And simplifying this, I should get 37.5. Sorry guys, I made a mistake with the last one. The answer should be 38.75. Alright guys, the next couple of slides, I'm going to show you quickly how to do this on the graphics calculator. Um, in the exams, you would you can use the calculator to um, solve this but you still need to show the integrated version of the function to get full marks. Okay, so I'll show you how to use the graf graphics calculator. So just switch it on, go into main menu, press the option button. So when you press the option button, you should come to this screen here. Press the calc button. Once you press this button, you should get to a screen that looks like this. And here you want to press the integral of dx button, which is there. And after that, you basically write the function as it is. So I'm going to look at that last example that we just did. So I'm going to write the function x times x minus 1 to the power of 3. Now notice... I've written the lowest value first and then the highest value as well. And you can separate it with a comma, which is also next to your um, AC button, which is your on button. Okay. Once you press that, write everything as it is, 
and if you press enter you should get the answer as 38.75 so you can use this in your um, assessments but it is worthwhile to show you, show how you actually integrated the function first okay terribly sorry about the this really long session but that's all from me for this one hope you guys got the hang of um, definite integrals thanks for watching guys